Bless me, you're a genius. All that makeup stuff really did bring Indora out of hiding like you said it would. Yeah, I might be an overly medicated, always inebriated sexaholic, but I know what makes little girls curious. <laughs> Indeed you do. Why? Why isn't the makeup moving now? Oh, well, isn't it obvious? And Dora must be looking in the mirror to see how she looks. You know, just because we can't see her doesn't mean she can't see herself. Okay, so, so, so now's the perfect time to grab her. Okay, all right. So let me let it spread out, and we'll come at her from both sides. Okay, let me catch you. Roger that. Okay. Dora, and Dora, please make yourself visible again. Come to mommy. Oh, come on, little girl. Give yourself up. I've given myself up plenty of times. It can be fun, especially if there's whipped cream involved. Now, please, and Dora does not need to hear about your sordid past. Okay, sordid is a very strong word, and actually, Tabitha, the only reason we've been close to finding in Dora is because of me. You're right. I'm sorry, uh, and I'm sorry. I doubted your plan. Yes, and Dora did come out to see all this girly stuff, all the makeup on the table. But now, we see, I know some things, Tabitha. Most of them involve lubricants, but I remember what it was like to be a little girl. Please be careful what you say in front of my daughter. I'm sorry, but you know, it seems like she's gone. Oh no, don't say that. She was here. She was here. We both saw her at the makeup table. She's there. She's oh. over there in that corner. Endora. Endora. Oh, please, please make yourself visible again. You know what's going to happen, don't you? Disaster's coming to harmony. Disaster eight years in the making. Oh, come on. We have to, we have to leave now before every living thing in harmony is destroyed. Oh. Oh. She's headed for the door. Oh, Andorra. Oh, Andorra. No. She's gone. Oh, she could be anywhere in the house. However, we're going to find her now. Andorra? Oh. Andorra, where are you? Are you here? Yeah, uh, your mommy only wants what's best for you. Shh. What is it? Did you hear no, sorry. It was just one of the voices in my head reminding me of an appointment tomorrow. Oh, this is useless. We're never going to find her like this. There's no point even going on looking for her. She's as stubborn as I was at her age. She won't show herself until she's good and ready. I'm sorry, Tabitha. Oh. I need a drink. Bless you. Me too. In fact, I can't remember a time where I ever didn't need a drink. Or two. <laughs> oh, cheers. <sighs> oh, that is wonderful. Uh, it is so fun having a witch for a friend. It's almost as nice as having a pharmacist for a friend. <laughs> Oh, you know, I don't know what I would do if I knew that something horrible was going to happen and I couldn't find poor, sweet, innocent Vicky. Vicky isn't as innocent as you think, dear. Far from it, in fact. Endora! Oh, she's a pistol, my little Endora. Do you have any children, Esme? I mean, apart from um, being responsible for your niece, of course. Oh, not that I know of. You know, I didn't think I had the mother gene in me until Vicky became my responsibility. But since then, I have been nothing but responsible. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. Mm. It's strange, isn't it? It changes you. I mean, you make so many sacrifices, but you don't mind at all. Not at all. <laughs> you know, I have changed so much since Vicky came to live with me. I have even delayed taking my morning lithium until I drop Vicky off at school in the mornings. <laughs> well, most days. Mm. Refill, please. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. You know, Vicky has been through so much trauma even before she came to Harmony, what with losing her parents and all. And then ever since she's been here, it's been nothing but murder and mayhem. I mean, first Fox was killed, and then all the other murders, like the cat man and the policeman and Santa and Alistair and, and Julian being mutilated. Oh, God, she has seen so much horror. Vicky has been the cause of so much horror in Harmony. She's been a busy little bee. Come to think of it, maybe Vicky has something to do with all the disasters that are coming to Harmony right now. I wish I could have protected Vicky from all the horror that's happened in Harmony. Yes, well... Vicky doesn't need protecting, I can assure you. Okay, what, what does that mean? Let me tell you something about your poor, innocent Vicky. Something that will curl your toes. I don't really know how to tell you this, Esme. It isn't something anyone wants to hear about a loved one, but Hades knows Julian and Eve didn't want to hear the truth about Benson, but here goes, for better or for worse. Here is the truth about Vicky. She's a serial killer. Esme? Esme? Oh, my devil. <laughs> She's asleep. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, for a party girl. <laughs> she sure can't hold her martinis. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Mr. President. I can pay for my own dry cleaning. <laughs> This girl has led a very interesting life. <laughs> Thank you for helping me try to find Endora Esme. I, I do appreciate it. I think you might as well sleep this off in your own bed. But don't you worry, you won't be sleeping alone because I'll zap Brad Pitt into bed beside you just to keep you company. <laughs> well, that's that. And Dora, and Dora, sweet pea, where are you? Please show yourself. We. We have to leave here. We have to leave Harmony before disaster hits. A disaster that's been eight years in the making. If we don't get out, we'll die. We'll die like everyone else. <laughs>